Hello, dear ones. Let's together breathe in light and breathe out love. This reading is overlighted by Archangel Michael and Lady Faith, brought through sacred scribe Rana Vazain. The activation of the first ray of divine will and power will give you access to the dynamic attributes of strength, courage, valor, steadfastness, truthfulness, and the ability to take control of your life as a co-creator, bearer of light. Beloved bearers of light, each time before you embodied in a new physical vessel, we gave you a symbolic sword, my sword of divine will, truth, and valor. We instructed you to use this sword to help you reclaim your mastery and to sever any discordant energies that were keeping you shackled to the distortions and illusion of the lower dimensions. We ask you to reclaim your symbolic wings, beloved ones. Come and soar with us. Accept the gift of divine will and power that we offer you as you strive to reclaim your proper station as a co-creative master of light. Once more, it is time that the first ray of divine will and power to create be made available to you. My brave warriors, as you reclaim this rightful place in my legions of light. When you, as divine sparks of the Creator, answered the first clarion call in this, a new universal experience, I promised to be with each of you throughout your long and arduous journey into the physical worlds of manifestation. For my main purpose has always been to guide, guard, inspire, and protect you. My sword of flame blazed forth from my heart center, forged from pure creator light. I knew there would be many times in your long sojourn throughout this universe when you would require more than the power you carried within to cut yourself free from the shackles of miscreation in which you had become entangled. This sword is charged with my eternal love for you, my love for our Father, Mother, God, and the Supreme Creator. It is called the sword of truth and redemption. It is not a sword of which to be frightened, and it bears the attributes of strength, power, and valor for those who wield it truly and honorably. Take up this sword, my beloveds, and wield it with integrity, truth, and valor. I ignite and blaze forth across your breast the insignia of the threefold flame, the golden flame of divine wisdom, the brilliant blue flame of power and will from our Father God, and the iridescent pink flame of love and compassion, the feminine aspect brought forth by our Mother God. My brave warriors, I ask you to set your hearts free from the bonds of fear, hate, and limitation. Embrace the spiritual freedom that is being offered you so that you may soar beyond the confines of time and space. Come, I will guide and assist you as I have in the past. If you are ready for this profound gift and initiation into the order of Archangel Michael and his legions of light, 
please declare this with me. I acknowledge my divinity. I accept my divine birthright as a co-creator with our Father, Mother, God, and the Supreme Creator to assist in the manifestation of heaven on earth. I accept the sword of Archangel Michael as a symbol of my worthiness. I promise to wield the energies of the first ray of power, will, and authority with love and compassion for the greatest good of all creation. Sacred flame from the very heart of God blaze in through and around every electron of precious cosmic energy I have ever released or manifested which is less than perfection. Transmute now, cause, core, record, and memory of every thought, word, action, or feeling I have ever expressed, which prevents me from knowing and accepting my true identity as a divine extension of our Father, Mother, God. I ask that the violet flame of forgiveness blaze through and around me now and henceforth, expanding moment to moment to the maximum that cosmic law will allow until I am free from every belief which is less than the reality of my perfect God nature. I am the presence of God made manifest in the physical world of form, and I accept my divine birthright and my mission now. So be it, so it is, I am that I am. Breathe in light. Remember, loved ones, that we have told you the ascension process is an ongoing journey, not a destination. Each day, endeavor to make the highest choices, staying in the moment, for that is the only time you can access your God power, not in the past and not projecting into the future but seeking your highest potential in each and every moment. See the challenges and tests in your life as opportunities to expand and grow in awareness as you learn to let go of old self-limiting ways. Strive to maintain an attitude of gratitude for all the blessings in your life, both large and small, and watch as goodness and lightness around you magnifies and expands day by day. Loved ones, during these challenging times of great change, each of you make a difference. The changes which are needed to bring about balance and harmony in your world must begin with you. My dear ones, shine your love light for all to see. Allow us to assist you to fulfill your mission and nurture you with our love. I am Archangel 